Welcome back to 10 Slide Info. The Indian Air Force currently operates almost 36 Rafale fighters manufactured by France, and even after the induction of these Rafale fighters, they are still short of fighter squadrons. As of March 2023, the Indian Air Force has 31 active fighter squadrons, but the authorized strength for the Indian Air Force is 42 squadrons. It has been a struggling process to reach that squadron number, due to delays in new fighter induction and the retirement of old aircrafts. The Indian Air Force's squadron strength is a critical factor due to various reasons. The first reason is due to the growing threat from China and Pakistan. Second reason is to maintain air superiority in order to deter aggression from its neighboring country. Third reason is to project power beyond the Indian subcontinent and in order to protect India's interests in the wider region. This requires a fighter fleet that is capable of long-range operations. Fourth reason is to modernize the Indian Air Force's fighter fleet, which are either outdated or aging for meeting the demands of modern warfare. Taking all these points, the Indian Air Force is committed to reaching its authorized strength of 42 squadrons very soon, with more reliable and modern fighter jets. There are plans to retire the MiG-21 Bison fighters very soon, and also the retirement plan would be very soon freezed for the rest fighters, like Seepcat Jaguar, Dassault Mirage 2000, and McCoyan MIG-29. The indigenous fighters, which would help the Indian Air Force to fill in the squadron strength are Tejas Mark 1A and upcoming Tejas Mark II fighters. Actually, the Tejas Mark II is designed and being procured to replace the Indian Air Force's Jaguar, Mirage 2000, and McCoyan MiG-29 fighters which are nearing their retirement age. In addition to this, the AMCA 5th generation stealth fighters, being planned for the Indian Air Force, will also help in increasing the squadron strength but this would take more time as we are yet to see the production of Tejas Mark II. Apart from the above procurements, the Indian Air Force was also planning to procure 12 additional Su-30 MKI fighters from Russia, but due to the Russian invasion to Ukraine, this is not going to happen. The Indian Air Force has also issued a request for proposal for the 114 multi-role fighter aircraft tender. The MRFA tender is for the procurement of fighter aircrafts to replace the aging fleet of MiG-21 and MiG-27 fighter jets. The Indian Air Force is also looking to increase its fleet of transport aircraft, and they have issued a request for information for medium transport aircraft. The medium transport aircraft tender is for the procurement of up to 80 medium-sized transport aircraft. In addition to this, there are procurements planned for helicopters, trainer aircrafts and even unmanned aerial vehicles. So, that was a small video to provide an update about the current squadron strength of the Indian Air Force and what are the planned procurements to boost the squadron strength. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to 10 Slide Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.